let's hope that this time it works okay and that you can all hear me um if you can't hear me can you just let me know um just change that to live chat and i'll refresh that Hello there, Miss Susan. Can you hear me okay? Let me just go back to my last message. Put that there. Because we had a problem. Hey! Rhonda can hear me. Woohoo! And Leslie. Yay! Hi there, Addy. Oh, thank God for that. So I don't know what was wrong with that, but it was not... Um, Letting you hear me, which is maybe not a bad thing sometimes. <laughs> I don't know what went on there. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, I need a slurp of my tea now. Right, just bear with me while I have a slurp of my brew. <sighs> Hello again, everyone. I'm back again. Woo! Move my chair into place. Oh, thank God for that. There was a lot of effing and jeffing going on here when I got off <laughs> with the last version. Okay, start again. Before I go on to pop-up shop goodies, I want to just talk to you quickly about these two journals now that you can all hear me. Recently, I've been doing, uh, I've done a couple of videos on the Wild Hedros digital kit. And this is the journal that I have now completed using those items that I made in the videos. OK, um, I'm not going to show it now. I am going to do a video of a, a flip through of this journal because it will take a little bit of time to go through it and all and all the things that I've done to it. But I just wanted to quickly show you what the completed journal sort of looks like. All right, so that's front cover, back cover, top of it, so that you can see all the bits hanging out the top there. Uh, that's the side view, so you can see there's lots of bits and pieces going on. All right, um, so that will be in a separate video. Just straighten up my doodad. There we go. Um, so this will be in a separate video, me showing you the completed journal. OK, so I'm just going to put that now to one side. If I can find a space. There we go. This one is from a new digital kit that will be going up over the weekend. And I've called it Spring into Summer. All right, so that it sort of incorporates a little bit of spring and a little bit of summer. So it's springing into summer. All right, so I've completed the front cover. Um, side view, back view, not much to see there. Um, and then I've put my signatures in. All right, but I will be showing you the digital kiss in another video. And I will show you how I went about making the cover. And then I will show you some of the items that I'm going to be making from the digital kit to put into the pages that I've already added to the journal. OK, so those are going to be coming up very shortly. So watch out for those, please. Please, please, please put that somewhere safe. OK, um, I'll just join Susan on another slurp of a brew. Oh, my camera's gone a bit cockeyed. Is that a term that you use in America, cockeyed? Because <laughs> if it's not, I can imagine a few of you going, What? What's she on about now? 
There we go. I think that's a little bit straighter. Oh, it is. Oh, good. Okay. So, why is it the last pop-up shop? Well, it's not the last, last, last one. Um, but it's the last one this side of summer because I want to spend the next two to three months, sort of June, July and August, I want to spend making videos and making journals. That first journal that I showed you, the Wild Hedgerows one, that is the first completed journal that I have done in a very, very long time because of obviously all that's been going on in personal life, moving house, which was two years ago now. Can you believe it? Two years. Um, so there's, there was all that going on, all the health stuff that was going on that is still ongoing. Um, so I'm with a new respiratory consultant because the last one that I saw was about blah, 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 seven, eight years ago. Um, so because I've moved here, I've got in contact with the hospital via my doctor to put me in contact with a consultant um, and I've I'm now seeing them because I've said, you know, it's been so long since I've seen anyone about this breathing issue that I've got. I, I don't know where I'm at with it. I don't know what stage I'm at. Um, I don't know if there's any new medications that have come out. And as it happens, there has been some new meds come out, um, which this new doctor has put me on. Um, and touch wood, they seem to be working. So, but I've got two appointments, one in June and one in July, um, to go to respiratory at the hospital. So I've still got, you know, health stuff going on. So I want to spend the next three months doing YouTube videos and making some journals, all right? So the pop-up shop will be back. Hopefully the first weekend in September all right um but I'll keep you updated on that so it is a case of if you want stuff from the pop-up shop you need to get it this weekend um because some of the items I'm not going to be restocking until next year okay so first things first as we always do which is the seam binding and this um these come as five meter lengths and these are the colors that I've got left before I move on to the autumnal colors, which is what I'll be showing in September. So we've got a spring green, an off white, a baby pink, moss green, dusky pink. And I forgot what I called this one. I think it was plum pink or plum one of the two, something like that anyway. So those are the colours that are going to be available. Now there's limited numbers of these colours left. Okay, so look out for the numbers. Nikki, long time no see, lovey. You all right? Nice to see you again. So these are the colours that are going to be available in this weekend's pop-up shop, but there's only a few of each of the colours left. OK, so you need to get in quick with those. All right. Also, I've got more everything off to the side here. Um, let me show you the two bags. They're exactly the same as each other, just happen to be in, in different in different bags. Um, I have got one, two, three, four, six, six bags of lace left. Um, so those six bags will be up in the pop-up shop and then once they're gone, they're gone. All right. Next, we'll do the leftovers first. Oh, sorry, I need another drink. Uh, hang on, let me just put my glasses on. Is that Joanna? Joanna, hi, I'm new. Hello there, Joanna. N nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. How do I access the shop? OK, the pop up shop is on my Facebook group. Um, and underneath the majority of my videos, you'll see the link. But if you go to the home page on YouTube, my my home page, 
up in the banner there's there's three little symbols for etsy for facebook and for instagram you can click on one of those and it will take you straight there okay but you have to answer three questions people are forgetting to answer the questions again And it's me that does the hiring and firing. So basically, if you don't answer the three questions, you don't get in. But the yeah, the pop-up shop is uh, on the Facebook group. Okay. And it's once a month. You're very welcome, Joanna. Okay. Some of these were leftovers. Some of them I've added a bit more to. So there's a bag of paper napkins. An assortment of different types and of course you've got your British bag so we've got some bumbly bees and they're full napkins as well so bumbly bees a bit of William Morris a bit of florals a little bit of an autumn theme on this one with the the wreath so there's four wreaths and a, a dotty spotty okay so those are the napkins so that's one two three four five so you get five napkins and your paper bag okay so that's those and then this one i've added to there was some left over of the paper bags and i've added some more paper bags to the collection so you get british one and you get two blue spotties so there's two of those and they're quite big. I just get me my ruler out. Let's use that one. So they are, what's that? Just under seven inches wide by, hang on. Use two hands, Carol, use two hands. By, what's that? Nine inches, I've it the right way up as well. And then you can read the measurements that's just under seven inches by nine inches there's two of these blue striped ones these are, 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 are eight and three quarters up to the top edge by just over six and a half inches wide so there's two of those there is i'm not going to measure every single bag you've got you've got a gist there you get two of your british flag your Union Jacks there. You get a sweet treat bag. You get lovely sweet bag. And as you can see, that's metallic. It's in that rose gold metallic. This is like um, a really baby blush pink. Uh, one of those, the damask bags. Two of these white bags two of the smaller damask bags and two of the dotty spotty bags all right so in total there is two four six seven eight nine eleven thirteen fifteen paper bags sixteen if you include that one all right so that's a lot of bags a lot of lot of bags there lot of bags Okay, napkins, paper bags, done those, put those away. Got the boxes off to here to the side with all the stocking. Okay, what's next? These. Um, these are the glassine bags. Um, and this is the last lot of glassine bags that I'm going to be buying until next year. So if you want some glassine bags, um, you need to get some. Okay. Right, let me just make sure I've got everything. There we go. So you get a glassine envelope. Some of them have got this, the pointy sort of flap, and some of them have got a straight edge flap. You get, I suppose you want measurements, won't you? Because your connoisseurs like that, just under seven inches wide by, by, just under five inches high. All right, and, and there's a couple of different sizes. So you might get a different, slightly different sized one to that. You get two of these. And these are 
four and a half, four and a half, just under four and a half inches. No, four and a half inches wide. Got the ruler in the wrong place. By just under seven and a half inches tall, right to the very top. Not measuring each of them again. <laughs> Otherwise we'll be here all night. Um, two very long uh, glass seam bags. Two medium-ish size glass seam bags. And three or four. Well, there's four in this one. It, you, you might get three. Depends on how tired I was when I counted these or if they're stuck together. So there should be four, but maybe three. <laughs> There should be four of those. Okay, so those are the glassine bags and they come in the Union Jack paper bag. So if you buy a pack of paper bags and the glassine bags, you get an extra bag. But as I say, I won't be getting any more of these unless they're for a specific project. I won't be getting any more to sell like that. There's lots of bits this time round, ladies, lots of bits. Okay, with a slip of my tea. This is a bag of bits. An interesting bag of bits. And one of the ladies requested, well, she was asking about these on, um, on the Facebook group and I said that I'd put some in the shop. So I put them together in a pack so that you get an assortment of bits. Um, now there's several different types of guest checks and I've got two of them, two different types in three different types, maybe, no, two, so that's shifted. Two different types of guest checks in here and they're the sort that, they're on fairly thin paper, these, and they're also the sort that, um, oh, what's the word? If I wrote on there now, it would transfer it onto that. So that bit goes to the kitchen, right? That bit's for the guest. All right, so guest check type number one. I think there was five of each. I got our Alicia to count these out and put them in. Uh, just check one. Got the wobbly hands. One, two, three. Oh, there's four. No, there's five. Four and five. Five of those. And then carbon. That's the one, Cindy. Well done. <laughs> and then there's one, two, three, four, five of these as well. Okay, so there's ten guest checks all together. There's uh, two sheets of these pharmacy labels. So you get two of those. I want that at the back. And then there's um, a tea bag bag. You watch, I'll get these out, but I won't be able to get them back in. So there's one of those tea baggy bags. So you can um, dye that, stamp on it. These are time cards, unpunched time cards. So there's one, two, three of those unpunched time cards. And then there's some tags. So there's one, two, three of those tags. So it's good little mixed bundle, this, of goodies that you can play with. I'm not going to fiddle about with doing that here. <laughs> it's not going in very easily. I'll put them away later. And then there is also two of those. There is two of those. Several of them. How many did you put in? Oh, different types. There we go. One, two of them. One, two of them. And one, two of them. 
okay so there's quite a few different tickets there that you can play with rip up um, add on collages add to little mini clusters and such likes I'm going to put that over to the side so that I can pack that away later on oh god my mouth is so dry okay so I've done them done them done them done them done them next is to do one of these okay uh, I did the charms last month the word charms and I said that I'd got a different set of word charms for this month so let me just take those out I forgot my little piece of black card bear with me I might not have any over here have I? yes I have then you will be able to see them better so as you can see there's lots of ball pins in here as well okay let me just sort them out so that you can then get to see them all properly okay so in here there is gold copper uh, rose gold and silver ball pins okay hi there pat so as you can see look, there's the four different colors and it's not picking it up very well but that's a red that one's a rose gold color gold and silver and then those are the four charms that are in this month's charm pack let me just try and tilt them without the light shining on them and without me Oop. No, that's not going to happen, is it, Carol? Let me take them off. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can tilt them again so that the light's not shining on them. Anyway, I've got Imagine, if it'll focus. Come on. Focus, wherever you may be. I'm hoping they're going to focus. Anyway, that one says imagine, that one says dream, that one says believe, and then this one says, turn it around the right way, find joy in the journey. So there's a little, almost a little saying on that one, and I'm sorry they're not showing up very well, the light's shining on them too much. But it's pretty. But I think there's about 20 ball pins all together as well. So there's a nice little selection there for you to play with. And I think, I uh, can't remember now off the top of my head, there's a couple left over of the other word charms. So I'll probably add those into the shop as well. So the ones from last month, I think there's maybe three or four of those left. I don't know, I'll have to have a look see if I can find them okay so we've done those one two three four five six lots we've done now this is the seventh lot I'm going to get the whole box out for this because I want to see if I can show you all of them oh there we go so I'll tell you how many there were left over one two three four Five. There was five lots of word charms left over from previous month. So I'll put those in as well. Okay. What's Pat say? I was waiting on the other video and decided to wash my dishes. Ah, yeah. It all went a bit, bit peat tongue on the last one. The, the sound wasn't working for some reason. Okay, now in these packs, get the black card out again. Put that to one side for a minute put you to one side for a minute and i'll tip you out so i've tried to think of little packs of things that you could create with over the summer because some of you still are young enough to have your kids at home um 
so you won't have that much time so that's why I've tried to make up little packs of little things that you could just play with on a, on an evening once the kids have gone to bed so this pack has got in it these three really large paper clips and I've done a video on this before where we made little notebooks hanging notebooks on them and then attach them to the side of the page I'll try and find the video um, yeah I'll try and find it and add the link and then there's two rose gold bulldog clips now you're gonna laugh because I could not for the life of me this afternoon think of what these were called and I'm going barista Beretta and I was like no that's not it is it a is it is it a beret <laughs> It's one of them slides that you put in your hair. But they're good for um, adding things on so you could add words onto these as well. So they're good clips. And I've only got enough to include one of these. And they're the metal rims with the paper card. So what you do is you take this metal ring off here, that one that's flopping about, cut some circles out of decorative things and... Um, punch a hole in so that you can put the ring back on and you got you got a nice dangler all right so there's those in this pack then I included two pieces of paper which I've had to fold up to be able to get them in the bag but if you open them up you get two patterns it's it's white on the back barrettes thank you Teresa I'm at an age where I forget words what can I say there's two more papers there and as I say they're white on the back now each pack has got I think there's three of each different type of pattern which is why I bought the box over because also I found in amongst all the lovely stuff I was going to swear then all the lovely stuff that I've got in my other room which is where I keep all the stock for the for the pop-up shop these bags of charms and there's three different types of bags of charms. So this one was called afternoon tea. So you get a bun, a cup and saucer, and a teapot and a teaspoon. Let me just lift these up, see if you can, if, you, if I bring them up a bit nearer, if you can see them a bit better with my wobbly hand. Okay. Sorry, it's not zooming in very clearly but hopefully you get the gist so that's the afternoon tea all right there's there's two other types so the sun bags have got the afternoon tea one in so i'll put it back together so that you can see sort of what's what so you got the two lots of paper so that you got some a little something to play with using them with these there's a bag of charms in this instance this one's the afternoon tea one and then you get the paper clips the bulldog clips and the little and the beretta and then the yeah okay so that's that one so there's three of those now yeah this one has got something different in it's got the same again it's got the two lots of paper it's got the three paper clips, it's got the same bulldog clips, it's got the barrette in, and it's got one of those keychain thingies. But in this one, the charms are these this one's elegant ladies. Okay, so if I tip those out, and it's a coat hanger, a shoe, an umbrella, or a brolly, as we call it here in the UK, slang. And a bottle of perfume. So again, I bring them up, but I'm I'm hoping that you'll be able to see those okay. So there's a shoe, coat hanger, umbrella, and a bottle of perfume. <laughs> I think Pat wants the afternoon tea ones. <laughs> it is potluck. Which ones you're gonna get of these if you order one? Right, so there's also the elegant ladies 
and then there is also yeah same again two pieces of paper three paper clips two bulldog clips a doobly what's it nothing gg and then this one there's a bag of charms relating to sewing so we've well sewing and knitting let me turn that on its side so we've it's going to roll about so we've got a thim a thimble a button a wool with knitting needles a tape measure and a pair of stalk scissors all right so they've all got different those are the three charm packs that had got left over so they're, they're sort of dotted about in all of these bags whatever i'd got left I'll try to keep you on a side pack, which I don't normally do, so you're being honoured. <laughs> and I think, what's the 12 of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, yeah, so there's only 12 of those packs, so you're going to need to get in quick to get a one of those all right next box <sighs> all right this one after i've had a slip of tea this one has got closures in it and some norman rockwell pictures so I'll put the pictures in, made mainly to make the bag a little bit sturdy. But I thought you might be able to use some of the pictures. So the pictures are going to be different in, in each one. So this is just an example. Okay, so there's all sorts of different images in there from Norman Rockwell. And then the closures that are included is there's two latch hooks have you gone there okay so there's two latch hooks so that I'll show you how they work so that goes on one side and that goes on the other side of maybe a, a book cover or a box and then this swings to sit inside that hole hang on Let's see if I can hold them and do it so that that swings and sits. Hang on, let me just fiddle so that you can see what it looks like. There we go. So that that then whoop, sits inside of there. So it joins the two together to act as a closure. OK, so there's two of those in this bag. There's two of those which... No, I didn't use it on that journal. I forgot which journal I used it on now, but it's one that I showed recently. Oh, sorry, knocking the camera. Uh, where I use these as the closure. So there's two of those. Two in the gold. Two in the silver. And then there's two hitch posts. You know, like the... What we call the Tim Holtz hitch posts, but they're not. These are carols. All right, so we've got the hitch posts as well. All right. So that's that pack. And everyone's got, got different uh, Norman Rockwell pictures in there too. So they're not all going to be the same. So you've got those lovely closures that you can play with. Told you there's lots this month. Then of course there's the far folders. I haven't bought those out because you know what the far folders look like. And again, they're going to be in packs of six. Okay, and then last pack to show you is this one. And as you can see from your box here, there's different colored paper in. 
and again it's just to make the bag a little bit more sturdy but you know it's a six by six piece of paper so you can use that for decorating and these are the brass book plates so there's two large two small and a fancy one i'll show you the fancy one in my hand okay so there's the fancy one as well okay and then you got four book corners in gold and four book corners in silver okay so that's for completing your journal um, by putting your name plate on and adding a label behind it and then putting those on the corners the four corners of your book just to protect them a little so that they don't get too damaged so i think that's it so i've shown you the book plates i've shown you the closures I've shown you the one with the charms in, the little doodads. Uh, I've shown you the bits of lace, shown you the word charms, shown you the mixed pack of goodies, the glass seam bags, the paper bags, the napkins the seam binding and then as I say there's the file folders as well what's Pat put in case you all don't know the more comments oh, I can't read that the more dollars YouTube gives to Carol well actually it's the more views so the dollars the money comes from the number of views the comments make the algorithms think that this is popular but that's the comments underneath the video not necessarily in chat um so yeah i mean the thing the thing is it's it's really funny because i've got a whole load of subscribers and i'm very very nearly at twenty thousand. very nearly i'm about 120 off i think um and i'm going to do a big giveaway when it gets to twenty thousand. So the number of subscribers is great. That doesn't earn you any money. You you hope that that number of subscribers will watch the videos because it's watching the videos that earns you the money. What the comments underneath the video does and the thumbs up or, or the thumbs down um, do is, is it, it connects to the algorithm on YouTube and it makes them monitor the amount of connection with your audience that you have. Which hopefully then means that they're watching the video, which is the one that makes the money. OK, so it's only watching the video that makes the money. The other things are affected by the algorithms, which makes YouTube think that it's popular and therefore they will show it more. Which means more views which means more revenue, both for YouTube and for myself. OK. You don't have to watch the whole advert. Uh, you can skip it. You do get more money if you watch the whole advert. But um, so what's Theresa put? So that means I can watch the same video many times and do the same thing with all of the videos yeah the more you watch it uh the more it increases so it works out for me in pounds pounds shillings and pence uh in english money it works out approximately four pounds for every thousand views now whether that is affected by if you only watch a part of the video or if you watch the whole of the video, I'm not 100% sure if it changes if you only maybe watch half of it. Um, but the more views you get, the more revenue you receive. So of late, my numbers have dropped quite dramatically. Um, so I'm only getting about three, four, uh, a push 500 views. So that's about... £1.50 to £2 that I earn in revenue from every video that I make. And if you think that sometimes it takes a whole day to make one video and you're doing it all for £2, 
from a revenue point of view, it's kind of not worth it. Um, but I know that there's, you know, there's three, four, five hundred of you out of 20,000 nearly um, that are enjoying watching the videos. And thank you. I do really appreciate that because I do get down about it sometimes. And, uh, you know, I think because there's not many people watching, I'm, I'm you know, I think I'm spending all this time making a, a YouTube video for £1.50 to £2 um, for a full day's work. And then I have to forget that and say, it's because you enjoy making this th these things, Carol, and those few people that do watch, um, you know, they enjoy it too. It would be lovely if I could get a lot more. Hi there, Catherine. It would be lovely if I could get a lot more views um, because obviously then it makes me more revenue as this is the way in which I make money to live, you know, um, because of the health and all the other things that have gone on and then the moving of house, I haven't been able to make as many videos for one reason or another. Um, so, yeah. There you go. Any more questions on that? <laughs> that I can explain. I'm just trying to catch up with some other... Um... Oh, the more comments pass, um, it just affects the algorithms that YouTube set up. So it's it sort of clicks how many people um, are commenting. And also if I reply as well, uh, that makes a difference too. And I do try to reply, but sometimes I'm just shattered. Um, so that means I can watch the same video many times. Yes, you can watch it as many times as you want, Teresa. Uh, Brenda. OK, I still don't have my printer up yet. Brenda, kick your daughter's butt and say, get get your butt over here and get my printer sorted. <coughs> Teresa's put, I'll put your videos on. That'll look, oh, hang on. Curses in the way. There we go. I'll put your videos on that I've already watched when I take a shower or wash my dishes. Shh, don't tell everyone that, Teresa, but thank you. <laughs> Uh, Pat says, I go to sleep with the TV on. I'm going to go on your channel and fall asleep to your voice instead of Midsummer Murders. Maybe I should do a calm video and read a story. And, um, oh God, what's his name, the actor that does, um, all right, all right, all right. What's his name? And he does the calm videos, doesn't he? <laughs> Sends everyone to sleep with his southern drawl. <laughs> oh yeah so getting the subscribers up i mean basically the, the the way in which people come to view your videos if i don't do anything at all i am reliant on three three things really what i'm reliant on is youtube pushing my videos forward but if they're not getting the views Matthew McConaughey that's him um if they're not getting the views YouTube don't push them forward as much if they're getting a lot of views they'll push them forwards onto your recommended okay the other way is if you make something either following one of my videos um and you sharing it either via YouTube or via a group that you belong to and you say, I have used this, this digital kit, can't speak now, this digital kit or this video of Carol Tinson's, here's where you can find them. Or you go along to your groups and you go and say, oh, you've got to go and watch Carol Tinson's videos. But you need to be careful because some groups now are becoming quite, um, what's the word? They don't always like you sharing everyone's and promoting individual people. Um, but if you're in a group of friends where they allow you to do that, then that's where the views come from. So... You know, if YouTube do it, 
if you make stuff, if you share, then people come to the channel um, and come and watch the videos. Because I think I've been a little bit hit and miss in terms of the videos that I've been making over the past year or lack thereof, I think that that has made a vast difference on the numbers that are watching my videos. But on saying that, someone somewhere has been promoting the the toilet paper one that I did. Hang on, I'm gonna just no, I'm not gonna look for it. But the 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 paper, the toilet paper one that I did at the start of COVID, when everyone was buying all the toilet paper in and hoarding it and then there was none on the shelves to purchase i made the video on how to make decorations paper decorations with toilet paper and someone actually commented and went i don't think this is the right time to be promoting that and it's like well basically it's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek having a go at all of those that have bought loads of toilet paper and are hoarding it because they're not going to be using it all in the very near future but the the views on that is is quite large and there's still regular viewings on that which is quite amazing but yeah i'm at 19.8 19,800 and something subscribers nearly at 900 uh subscribers so i think i've got about 120 to go before i reach me 20,000. but this is another reason why come on just chat 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 uh, this is another reason why I want to take a break from doing the pop-up shop because this takes up quite a lot of time from ordering the stuff, packing it all up, um, you know, making the kits up, making digital kits to go along with the kits, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not having enough time to make the videos to go along with those. So that's why I want to take a break from the pop-up shop so that I can catch up on some of the videos that I need to make in relation to the kits that I've been selling in the pop-up shop. So, yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> Best laid plans of mice and men. Might not happen yet. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, we shall see. We shall think positive, Carol. Think positive. Have a slip of tea. What's Pat put? Some folks have no sense of humour. Well, I think at, at that time, at the start of COVID and with all that was going on politically with it, especially in America, um, I don't think that there was much to be said about anyone's sense of humour, to be fair. <laughs> oh, dear. But that that's why I did it, because I thought... There's so many people that are hoarding their toilet paper now. They can afford to make some little um, decorations. The th the stupid thing was, was that the amount of toilet paper, it didn't even use a whole roll. It didn't even use half a roll of toilet paper. It was just a few sheets to make one. So you're talking at, what, not even a quarter of a toilet roll would it have taken to have made these embellishments so i thought that was quite funny as well but anyway there you go has anybody got any questions they would like to ask me about the pop-up shop goodies the pop-up shop itself how to get there who am i <laughs> where am i am i Because I need to go on top up my brew in a minute. It's getting a bit low. It's funny you should say that, Pat. Pat's just put, many Americans are bizarre. I've, I've met quite a few Americans, both in person uh, and online. Because uh, I have been to America a couple of times. And I have to say, the majority of people that I have met have been lovely. Um, but there is also, yeah, but but then you know, pro rata UK, we've got a load of nutters here as well, so swings and roundabouts.
Right, I am going to shoot off if nobody's got any questions for me. Thank you very much for joining me and listening to me prattle on. Uh, and my last words of the day are All right, all right, all right. It's time for you, Pat, to go to bed. It's not, it's very early in the afternoon for you. But time to go to bed and leave the video running. <laughs> Sounded nothing like him, did it? <laughs> Not a bad attempt, though. You know, being a being a mad Brit. <laughs> OK, so, pop-up shop, 10 o'clock in the morning, UK time, which is... If you go to New York, it would be five hours behind. If you go to Never Eat Shredded Wheat, if you go to the West Coast, it's about eight hours behind. Um, pop up shop closes Sunday evening. Uh, only what was left over from last month, Catherine, and there's about six packs left. Um, just bring these back for you to have another look at. So these are up and coming. <laughs> I like that, they're mine. <laughs> what right between you and Pat? Blow me neck. I'm putting your orders in before the day. Alright, so pop up shop tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Finishes sometime Sunday. Whenever I get my butting gear to come online and go closed. And then it will probably be Monday when I message everyone with their balances. Uh, payments are made via PayPal in Great British Pounds. <laughs> that's all right, Catherine. It's fine if that's what you want to do. And as I say, these are going to be upcoming. So please come back to the channel and come and watch out for those videos. All right. Um, I will be busy videoing making a video tomorrow but then I'll be concentrating on packing up all the pop-up shop orders which take two or three days and get to the post office and then then I'll be back onto these okay okay guys it is now hang on I've got a card in my screen in the way And I've made the phone skewify. It is now ten past nine in the evening. I am going to go and fill up my mug with a nice hot brew and take myself off to bed, switch my fan on, sit there in my birthday suit watching a next Netflix movie. <laughs> I'll leave you all with that thought. Uh, that will be... Well... I'll, I'll contact everyone on group. That was another reason why I want to finish doing the pop-up shop goodies, Pat, so that I can come back to finish that off with you guys. So that's on my list for once this is all done and dusted. Right, I'm off. Toodaloo. Thank you for joining me. See you all again really soon. ta a bit. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please go, go and spread the word of Carol Tinson to get them to all come and have a look, okay? Thanks for joining me. See you all again soon. Bye, 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 bye.